Welcome to the Faith Hour. Located in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, and which with Pastor Brian Mungandi as the senior pastor, Faith Church International is totally committed to the proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ in the context of Revelation 14, 6 to 12. We urge you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and worship Him as Lord every Sabbath day. The current president, uh, Dr. Charles Drake III, puts great emphasis on evangelism, nature, and stewardship. The United States covers nine states in the middle of the United States. We go from the Mississippi River on the east, all the way to the Rocky Mountains on the west, all the way to the Dakotas on the north, and our southern boundary is down at New Mexico. Well, we don't have enough, but we have 48 churches and uh, we have about 35 pastors that uh, cover the territory. But there's a lot of territory that we need to, to have more churches in and uh, we're working on expanding the work. Well, we are the smallest conference of all regional conferences right now, uh, but we uh, presently have a membership of around 12,660 uh, individuals. We are looking to go over the 13,000 mark this year. We come together for these three days and we, we, we get instruction from various uh, seminar presenters that assist us in our work and uh, then we give to the pastors the goals for next year on um, their baptismal goals and their various offering goals, uh, tithe goals and those kind of things. It's, it's an inspirational time uh, and it's a time for, for fellowship. Pastors don't often, are, are not often able to get together and so we spend some time in in uh, fellowship and in, in talking and dialoguing back and forth to lay plans for the work. I mean, I think it will impact my ministry pretty good. I, I belong to a church called Tabernacle of Praise, and uh, it's an awesome church, and the worship service is already phenomenal. And I think that with a few of the things that he said, we, I can take it up a notch, cleaning some things up, shaving some stuff off, and really just uh, uplifting Jesus. This was powerful. This was, this was amazing, and I'm, I'm going to implement a lot of the different things in terms of leadership, and the attitude and the, and the, and the sort of um, the sort of backbone that an elder, a pastor needs in order to get a lot of things done in the name of the Lord. So it was awesome. I think the program was good and it's, good, it's a good idea uh, to bring in changes and uh, see to it that they are effective and impactive as well. All in all, I think you as the leader or the pastor as the leader has to bring changes which he believes in and he also has to follow those changes to see that they have been implemented. This presentation helped me and it's going to impact my ministry in a way in which um, I will be more conscious into you know, the role that I play in the church um, and also the role that I play into my family. Well, our theme is Share the Hope, and we want for every member of our conference to use the gifts that God has given to them. Last year, uh, we, uh, we did a great job at baptisms. Uh, we experienced a 300% increase wow. in baptisms from where we were in 2007. Uh, so uh, God really blessed this conference. Uh, last year when it came to souls. Finances we're doing very good. We're getting a good steady income. We have embarked on some ambitious projects which has utilized some funds. Uh, as, you, as, as Dr. Drake has mentioned that we have three major focuses for the conference. Evangelism, nurture, and stewardship. And and that philosophy is also built into our budget that um, this year we doubled 
our evangelism growth. Uh, I believe that the reason we were able to successfully do ministry on last year was that we instituted area meetings. Uh, what that did was it brought all the pastors in very in certain areas together and they did ministry together, they did evangelistic meetings together. And we experienced tremendous support. We supplied them with a certain amount of funds for the area. They utilized those funds. Some pastors were very creative. Uh, in the St. Louis area, we had five pastors that did one meeting. And the pastors rotated and each one took a night in preaching and over 70 souls were baptized. Uh, we had here in Kansas City, uh, Pastor William Ferguson, who came for another this area as well, they all came together, but Pastor Ferguson did the meeting. From that, another uh, group of individuals were baptized, over 70, and we even started a Spanish congregation. Uh, so we've discovered that working together as a team, uh, as we do evangelism, is more effective. We can pull more resources together, our resources together, and we are more capable of doing effective ministry. A Faith Church International. He's a Seventh-day Adventist church in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, and it's part of Central States Conference. When you come to Faith Church International and you participate in our worship service, you will experience good messages relevant to the human needs, good music, you will have good time and good fun. We gather together for worship every Saturday. When we look at what God has accomplished in us and through us these last few years, we can only say the Holy Spirit is powerfully working. We started with a core group of people from East Africa, Kenya. Today we have people attending our church from the Republic of Congo, from Togo, from Sierra Leone, from Nigeria, from Liberia, from India, from Zambia. We have members who are American born. This is just the microcosm of what Faith Church International has become. Our theme is share the hope. Uh, we can't say it enough. If we could share uh, the hope that lies within us, with everybody we come in contact with, I believe that uh, God's word will spread around this world and we could soon look forward to his second coming. God is doing an incredible thing in this church. Church members are going to work, to school, in the community, fulfilling God's mission. The power of God is actively working in our midst. As a church, we continue to believe that fellowship with the Holy Spirit empowers our church members and they are released into the community to do spontaneous evangelism. As you work in the area where you are, and we work in the area where we are, uh, let us work feverishly and fervently until we can hear God say, well done. We recognize that Christ is coming soon, and all of us together can work hard and hasten his coming. And when that happens, soon he will come, and we'll be able to say, hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. My dear friend, if you are looking for a church family, please feel free to contact us on the numbers on your screen. We will be glad to assist you to make Faith Church International your home church. And may God bless you.